Hello and welcome back to Susie's Pilates. It's going to be a 30 minute session of abs and bums and sides. So just yourself a mat, some water as I say, and just do what you can, modify where you can. Take your feet together, okay, face towards me, and just bringing your elbows in towards the fold of the knees to lift those hips up. You can come down if you want to, as far as you can, and then breathe in and breathe out. Just lift the head up towards the heavens, hold it here, give yourself a nice stretch through the spine. We breathe in and breathe out, chin towards the chest, push down. So you're just bringing those legs close in towards the body and we breathe out and lift that head up towards the ceiling. Okay, so you're going to turn, you're going to sit on the mat and I want you just to soften the knees. Now on a level of 0 to 10, you're going to draw your abdominals into level 4. And just to start off with, you're going to grab behind the backs of your legs, flex your feet and just give again your spine a stretch. Now take a deep breath, inhale and then exhale. Exhale and round through the spine. So we go again. We take a deep breath and inhale. Shoulders back. Exhale. Now you're going to make a C shape of the spine. Just come down slightly. So you're just over that spiky. And then you're just going to float your arms up towards the eyes and then take them down. So your feet are flexed. Your, your feet are hip distance apart. And we just take it up and down. So we're just going with our breath. And breathe out. 90. Now, on a level of 0 to 10, I want you to draw those abdominals in towards the spine. Here we go. You've got 10, and then turn those palms down. 9, and breathe. 8, breathe. 7, and breathe. 6, breathe. 5, and breathe. You've got four, and breathe, and three, and breathe, and two, and breathe. Now stay in here, you're going to come down a little bit further. And I just want you to float that arm out, and then take it back. And the other arm comes out, and take it back. So float the arm out, and take it back, and out, and take it back. So as you can see, sorry about the background noise, the dog next door is barking. <laughs> Take it back. But it just shows we are human. And back. And glide out. And back. And five. And back. And four. And back. Hold on to those abdominals for me. Three. If you need to support the spine with a cushion or a ball, two. Last one, one. Now stay here, take a deep breath, inhale and exhale and take it forwards and just give yourself a stretch. Point those toes like you're circling over, coming over a ball. Take a breath in, inhale. We're going to do exactly the same thing, but this time you're going to keep your knees and your toes together. Uh, you're leaving your toes together and you're going to point those toes, come back and let those shoulders relax. So you're scooping through the spine and then we're just going to do exactly the same thing. We're just going to take the arms up and down. If you want to bend, you can. But try and keep those abdominals in at level 10, sliding your rib cage down towards your hips. You're keeping everything nice and flat. Keep going with this. So you're just breathing in, shoulders relax. So you can, the option is to bend the knees as well. You've got nine, eight, seven, You've got six, keep going. So looking straight ahead of you, five, or directly at me, four, I hope you're doing well at home, three, keep going, two, last one, one, now hold it here. So float that arm out and then take it back. So it's there or in line with the shoulder, not too far. So we just take that arm back without changing the position of your hips. Take it back. Keep going. So we breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Hold on to those abdominals. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Four left. Breathe in and out. Three left. Breathe in and out. So your abdominals 
Should be feeling warm now too. Last one more. Now take those palms together and I'm just going to give you little pauses. Now draw your scapula home into its position. 80, 70, 60, breathe. 15, I'm going to let you come down in a minute. 40, 13, point those toes, hold on to those abdominals, hold on to those thighs. 11, let the ribcage sink down. 10, towards your hips. 9, 8, 7, 6, breathe. 5, Four, breathe, three, two, and one. Stay there, take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, and nice and slowly control it as you roll down and take the arms over the head for a well-deserved stretch. So you're gonna make an arch through the back, give your spine a stretch, breathe in, and breathe out, and just take those palms to the side, and then you bring your feet there or thereabouts in line with your, with your knees, and I want your feet hip distance apart. Now from here, we're just gonna start off working the backs of the legs and the bum, the glutes. So I just want you to gently just tilt the pelvis in towards the sea, oh, in towards the mat. So your, your tailbone comes up towards the ceiling and we just come up and then take it down. So I want you to push through those heels and take it down. So we're just breathing in and breathe out. So this is one flowing movement. So breathe in and breathe out. Keep going, breathe in and breathe out. So really think about tucking your rib cage towards the hips and out. So we breathe in, so you're not arching through that back. Breathe in and out, you're halfway. Breathe in and then out. Keep going, breathe in. Try not to let that fall, bum fall on the floor. And out, eight left, push through those heels. And out, so let's get a bit of thigh work now. And at the top, we just gently want you to squeeze. Four, breathe. Three, and breathe. Two, now this is the last one. You're gonna come up, hold it here. Now vertebrae by vertebrae, I want you to roll all the way down. And then just bring those knees in towards the hips and just give it a little stretch. Okay, so we haven't finished with the hamstrings, the feet are hip distance apart. Again, you're just gently gonna push the backs of your arms in towards the mat, your chest is open. Breathe in, now breathe out, you're gonna come up, okay, making sure that your hips are stable, and I want you to push through that left heel. Now you're gonna take that right leg perpendicular, or diagonally in line with the, uh, with the knee, and hold it here. Now I want you to hold this for me, just for 10 seconds, hold it nine, Eight, don't arch through that back. Seven, six, five, abs at level 10. Four, breathe. Three, two, one. Now I want you to float that leg and push up through that heel. Come on, you can do it. 10, shoulders relax. Nine, eight, stay with me. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it back to that angle of the knee, diagonally in line with the knee for 10. Push through that left heel. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, breathe, four, three, two, so we're going on the other leg, one, glide that leg down, push through the right heel, take a deep breath, inhale, take it diagonally in line with that right knee, now hold it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, come on, you can do it, six, five, I know you can, four, three, two, one, so you always got one side that's tighter than the other, 10, breathe, nine, Eight, breathe, seven, point that toe, six. It doesn't have to be straight, look at mine. Five, four, but I'm feeling my hamstrings, boy, I'm my bum. Two, one, now take it down and diagonally in line with that heel up. Can you push up through that heel for me for 10? Nine, you can do it. Eight, if you wanna modify, seven, take both the legs down. Six, five, four, three, two, one, now bend the knees, stay here, take a deep breath, and then we're just gonna come just to even it out and take it down and relax the spine. So again, we're gonna take a breath in, inhale, exhale, roll up through the spine and just hold it here. So we're just gonna come up and down as we started. So repetition, 19, always good for the brain, this 18, because it's like, oh, this is how we started, I know this one. 17, breathe, 16, and breathe, 15, don't forget to breathe, just looking up towards the ceiling, relax the shoulders, we've got 12, 
11, breathe. You've got 10, push through those heels. Nine, and breathe. So it's one flowing movement, eight, seven, six, you're so nearly there. Five, I'm telling myself that, four by the way. Three, two, this is your last one, one. Now stay up here, bring those knees together, hold it there, squeeze the butt. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, relax the shoulders, five, breathe, four, three, squeeze those knees together, two, one, take them apart and gently roll down through the spine. Well done, just taking your knees in towards your chest, give it a little stretch out there. So from this position, I want you to take your legs into a reverse tabletop so they're at a nice 90 degree angle, slightly over the hips, the arms are by the side, nice and relaxed, and you're just gonna give me toe taps here, just for 20. So you're dipping your toes in water and then taking it back. 19, so I don't want any dropping down. 18, I want you to hold onto these abdominals. 17, breathe. 16, and breathe. You've got 15, breathe. And 14, 13. You've got 12, breathe. 11, and 10. Nine, you've got eight, seven, hold on to those abdominals for me, six and breathe, five, four, now we're going to add on to this, okay, three, you've got two, this is your last one, one, now we take it up, you're going to take the weight of your skull in towards your hands, and we're going to do exactly the same thing. 90, but we're turning the side of it, so I'm thinking more of my shoulder towards my elbow, breathe, than my elbow towards, sorry, my shoulder towards my knee, than my elbow towards the knee. So I'm getting that oblique work going up. So we just breathe and tap that toe down so we twist. If that's too much, just take the head down and just stick with level number one that we've just done. Because you've just got 10 left now. And nine, breathe. And eight. And seven, keep going for me. And six. And five. Four left. You've got three. And two, this is the last one. One, take it down, take a deep breath and keep those feet in an angle with the toes. Head comes down, just hold it here. Now draw those abdominals in, hold it. Take a deep breath, inhale. And you're gonna float those arms over the head and then I want you just to circle them around. Now, from here, you're gonna lift up and then we bring the arms around and rest the head. So we lift and then rest the head, bring the arms around. So now I want you to squeeze your thighs together and then really concentrate on drawing those abdominals in. So we breathe in. So if you don't want to lift the head, you can keep it down. So we breathe in, and then breathe out, take the head down. Breathe in, and take it down. Five left, breathe in, and take it down, scoop the arms around. Breathe in, and exhale, four. Breathe in, exhale, take it round. Three left, breathe in and take it down, two left, breathe in. So if you just wanna do this and take it down, this is your last one, breathe in. And take it down, take one foot down and then the other. Okay, take your knees towards me, take your arms and your head in the opposite direction, just stay here now, just enjoy this little stretch. Deep breath, inhale, exhale, take it over the other way, so just to give that lower back a little break, a little breather. So from here we take the feet back into tabletop position. You're going to take the weight of your skull in towards your hands and I want you to take your right arm over towards me. So you're holding it here, again your head is supported. Now you're going to straighten your right leg and we take it down for 10 and breathe. 9, so you're really elongating 7 through this arm, reaching over 6, keeping this hip, 5, there or thereabouts, four in line with the hip, three, two, keep going, 
one. Now we switch over, let's take it over, and we go for 10, and nine, and eight. Keeping that leg at a reverse tabletop, seven, six, five, breathe. You've got four, and three, and two. Last one, take a deep breath in, inhale. Exhale, take it back into the middle, and then take one foot down and then the other. We always take one foot down and the other just to protect the lower spine. Okay, so from here, you're gonna give me a little frog's legs, okay? So, we take our toes, so we just join the, uh, the toes, our heels are apart, your hands could be behind your head, or I'll give you level number one to start off with. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna zip your legs together, like you're zipping your calves together, and we take it out. So we zip the legs together and take it out. So we breathe in and out. Breathe in, zip, and if you want to take the legs a bit further down, you can without arching that back. So keeping that, that back in line with the mat, making sure that there's no arch. Keep going, because you've just got five and back. So zip those legs together, four, three, two, this is your last one, one, take it down, now from here, you're just going to give me little pulses up and then away, so we're keeping those toes together and away, now if you want to make it a little bit harder, lift the head and take the weight of the skull slightly into your hands, so it's up and away, up and away, so the word comes in as you take the legs away. So it's up and away. Hold on to those abdominals. Don't let that back kick in. You are gonna feel that lower back, but particularly the lower abdominals. Keep going, because you've just got 10. And nine, breathe. And eight, scoop up. Just like a little scoop, seven, little scoop. And six, so if you want to modify, five, Take your hands here, your head is down, four. But that little scoop, three, two, last one. Now bring those legs in, bring the elbows in between the legs like they're coming down towards the tummy navel. And I want you to bring the chin on top of the chest. And just hold it here for me. Abs drawing the level 10 for 10, nine, so no pulling on the neck, eight, seven, six, hold on to those abs, five, four left, three, two, one, one foot down, and then the other, well done. So let's just take a little sip of water. Important to stay hydrated. As I'm always told, take a deep breath, inhale, and then I just want you to roll all the way down. Now from here, you're gonna go into your 100. So I'm gonna count you straight in. So today, I want you to bring your feet at a reverse tabletop, and your knee, set tabletop, and your knees are coming in, at a, just over the hips, okay? So you just pull them in slightly over the hips. Now, I want you to draw those abdominals in towards the mat again, so you're tilting your stipe, your pelvis up towards the ceiling. Breathe in, now breathe out, and I want you to draw your shoulders away from the ears, just leaving a slight gap between the chin and the chest. The knees are hip distance apart today. We are just gonna hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, no gripping through the neck, five, four, Three, two, one. Now, take those palms up, shoulders away from the ears and hold it there for 10. Hold on to these abs, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, turn those palms facing towards the end of the mat and you're just gonna live, give me little pulses for 50 now, 49. If you wanna rest that head down, you can, 48. But keep those abdominals engaged, 46. 5, 44, 3, 42, 41, you just got 40, 9, 38, 37, open up that chest, 36, 35, 34, 3, 32, so looking straight down at that tummy navel, 30, 9, 28, 27, 26, 5, 24, 23, so you're breathing in and out because you've just got 20 left, now 90, 80, 70, 60, breathe. 40, 13, so I'm just looking at my knees, making sure that they're aligned, 12, 11, 10, one's not skewing, 9, 
eight, seven, six, do what you can, five, now get ready, four, hold on to the back of the legs, three, two, one, now take those arms on the back of the neck, lift up through the upper torso, so keeping that le neck, so just give your neck a little nod, up and down, holding it for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, now you're going to let go through with your palms down, two, one, hold, arms long and low for ten, relax these shoulders, nine, eight, seven, six, but hold on to those abs, five, four, well done, three, two, one, oh that was a tough one, that was a tough one, okay just taking it from side to side, giving the shoulders a little rest a second, so we're going to continue with the rest of that 100, so if you've done 50, plus a few, and then we're going to go again and repeat it and do exactly the same thing, so if you've got any back or, or neck or shoulder problems, keep it down at level one, okay, so you're going to imprint the spine in towards the mat, so you can be here, just draw those legs slightly in, and then you're going to pull that upper torso up, chin on top of the chest, just leave a slight little gap there, I want you to look in down in between the legs, feet are hip distance apart, hold it for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, three, five, four left, three, two, one, now palms come down this time, long and low for ten, nine, eight, don't forget to breathe, seven, six, five, get ready to pulse, four, three, for 50 feet, two, one, let's go, for 50, 49, so just a couple of pointers, 48, 47, soften those elbows, so you're not too rigid, otherwise you're kicking towards the neck, 4, 43, breathe, 2, 41, 40, 39, 38, so you can take it down if you want to, 7, 36, 5, breathe, 4, keep pulsing those arms for me like you're tapping water, because you've just got 30, 28, she says, 7, 26, 25, hold on to those abdominal, 4, 23, 22, 21, you just got 20 left now, 80, 70, 16 left, breathe, 50, 40, 30, 12 left, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now grab those legs, take a deep breath, inhale, lift up shoulders away from the ears, hold it here for me for 10 seconds, hold it, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, this time palms are up for 10 seconds, 4, breathe, 3, 2, 1, palms up like you're carrying a barrel, hold it there for 10, Bucket of water, nine, eight, seven, keep going, six, five, four, three, two, one, take one foot down and then the other, well done, that's your ab series over with, so we're just going to work those side obliques now, so you're going to come onto the side, I'm going to work your bums as well, so this time you're going to give that neck a nice rest and just come onto your side for me, just bringing those toes together, like Charlie Chaplin, you're just going to take your ankles, uh, your heels apart and just hold it here for 20 seconds, 90, now if you want to make it harder, 80, 70, show me your palms, 60, 50, 40, 30, can you lift up 12, 11, so you're really feeling these sides here engaged, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, breathe, 5, now you're going to tap, 4, 3, 2, one, now without changing the position of this leg, you're going to bring that leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, just have a little check, 4, visualise an invisible wall behind you, 3, 2, 1, give me another 10, 9, 8, hold on to these side of legs, 7, 6, breathe, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, now hold it here, now this top leg, we're going to take it up without moving that bottom leg. So I'm just going to go straight into it, I won't do any of those Pilates counters, 80, 70, I won't add a few, 60, I'll tell you how it is, 50, breathe, 40, breathe, 30, you've got 12, breathe, 11, stay there, you've got 10, and 9, breathe, and 8, and seven, six left, you've got five, four left, feel those obliques, three, breathe, two, last one, now hold it here, bring those toes together, heels apart, just stay there for me, show me your palm just for ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, can you lift six, 
five, four, three, two, one, and take it down. Well done. Okay, bring your knees in towards your chest. So you're just going to come up onto your side. So your head is, is rested. And then you're going to bring your knees forward and lift your feet off the ground. I'm just going to go into a modified cam here. So just make sure, a couple of pointers, that your hip is in line with the knee. 80, 70. And if you want to make it harder, 16, you can bring the arm back. 50. It just opens up the side. 40, 13. 12, make sure your hips are stacked, one on top of the other, 11, facing towards me, 10, 9, I'm going to take it down to here, 8, now we're going to add on to this, 7, 6, breathe, 5, you've got 4, and 3, 2, last one, now, you're going to straighten, bend, together, out, straighten, bend, together, out, straighten, keep that toe lifted, together, out, straighten, bend, together, out, straighten, bend, together, keep going, breathe, together, keep going, bend, together, 10 left, bend, together, 9 left, bend, together and eight, bend together, seven, bend together, six left, bend together and five, bend together, four left, bend together and three, bend together, two left, bend together, last one, Bend together, now keep those heels lifted, open up those hips for me, holding here for 10, 9, 8, can you feel it in the bottom cheek, 7, 6, 5, relax these shoulders, 4, 3, 2, 1, bend and take it down, give that form a little pat for me, well done. Okay, so from here I want you to come onto your elbow and we're going to come up into a reverse, uh, into a plank, a side plank. So, I prefer to come down onto my elbow. If you want to come up onto your wrist, you're more than welcome. I'll give you modifications. And we're just going to hold this, okay? So, you're going to come up. So, this is the modification. And you're just going to hold it here for me. Modification is here and just show me your palm. Hold it there for 20 seconds. 90, 80, 70, 60, breathe. 50, 40, 30, 12, 11, 10, so I'm just making sure now that my elbow is in line with my shoulder. Eight, seven, six, come on, keep pushing up. Five, you can modify with that leg. Four, three, bent knee. Two, one, now take the hips down and we just come up and down for 10. Nine, come on, we can do it. Eight, seven, six, five, three, four, three, two, one. Now take that arm over it, just hold it here for 10, 9, 8, give me that stretch, 7, 6, so glide those abdominals underneath the ribcage, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, this is your last 10 seconds now, 9, 8, 7, you've done your side series, 6, but we've just got the other side to do, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, take it down, well done. Just come over onto the other side, she says, just. So we're coming down onto our side and we're just gonna hold it here. So Charlie Chaplin feet, visualize that wall behind you. Show me your palm, hold it there for me for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, three, five, four, three, two, one. Now take it down and we lift, 90. 80, 70, 60, breathe, 50, 40, breathe, relax that shoulder, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, so if you're feeling wobbly, 7, 6, head is relaxed, 5, 4, always got a harder side, 3, 2, 
one so hold it here hold that bottom leg up for me and we take it for 20 19 top leg now 18 without change to position 70 of that bottom leg 60 50 40 30 you've got 12 11 10 9 8 breathe 7 6 hold on to those abdominals 5 hold on to the side of the four three two last one hold it there hold it can you lift up a little bit further just hold it for ten nine eight seven six breathe five four left three two and one take it down well done okay so you're just going to come up now into that clamp take those knees out and we get for twenty ninety 18, you thought I'd forgotten, didn't you? 17, 16. So think about it. 15 is really opening up the hips where you can, okay? 14, 13. There's no right or wrong to this. 12, you don't have to be uber flexible as long as you are feeling those hip flexors and those bum cheeks. Keep going because you've just got eight, seven, breathe, six, breathe out to me, five. Four, I'm trying to blow you over. Three, two, get ready for the modification. So, we straighten, together, bend. Out, straighten, together, bend. Keep that, those feet up in the air for me. Together, bend. Out, straighten, together, bend. Out, straighten, together, and bend. Keep going, out. Straighten, together, bend. Nearly there, out. Straighten, together, and bend. Out, so if you want to make it harder, don't forget you can add this arm. Out, straighten, together, bend. Out, straighten, just eight left now. Bend. Out, straighten, together, bend. Seven, out, straighten, together, bend. Six left. Out, straighten, together, bend. Five, together. Four left, straighten, together. Three, straighten, bend, together. Two left, straighten, bend, together. Last one, straighten, together, bend. Now hold it here for me, hold it for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five four three two and one take it down give that bum a little pat well done you are nearly finished okay so just taking the elbow up onto the side so we're just going to go into our side plank series so modification just to come down onto the one knee or if you can take it into four for me taking a deep breath in just show me your palms for 20 seconds 90 80 70 60 15, breathe, elbow in line with the shoulder, 14, 13, show me your palms, 12, you will feel the shoulder, 11, because that's what we're working as well, 10, but I want you to feel heat in these hips, 9, in these sides, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now take it down, and we go for 10, just 10 of these, 9, come on, we can do it, 8, and seven, six left. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Now take that arm over it. Hold it there for 10 seconds. Nine, come on, you can do it. Modify with the knee if you need to. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Show me your palm for 10. Nine. Eight, just even it out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down. Well done. So just come onto your front for me. Let's give these abdominals a little stretch. So, like you're holding onto a trinket box, I want you to draw your shoulders back now, pulling those abs into level 10. You're just going to push up through your elbows, not too far. So, I really want you to think about elongation. So, really lengthening through your spine then compressing the spine breathe in 
and then breathe out and take it down. You can feel you work those abs. Okay, go again. Push up through your elbows. Now draw your abdominals in, glide them underneath the rib cage. Let your head relax so you're not pulling through your neck. You're drawing those shoulders away from the ears. Hold it here. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, and just take it down. Now from here, you're just going to take the head down, and I just want you to lift your left leg and the right leg. You're just giving me 10 of these, so the shoulders are relaxed, and you're just keeping your head down on the arm. Nine, eight, seven, six, so we're just continuing. Five, to work the glutes. Four, and stretching through the spine. Three, two, one. Now from here, you're gonna take your head and then just lift up for 10. Nine, so no pulling through the neck. Eight, it's just one flowing movement. Seven, six, five, three, four, three. So you feel that lovely work through the back. Two, and one, take a deep breath, inhale. Chin in towards the chest, just taking your palms in towards the body. And then I just want you to lift through the legs. Now don't come up too high, just hold it here. Now you're trying to get your middle fingers down towards your heels. Hold it for 10, nine, hold it, eight, seven, breathe, six, five, four left, three, two, and one. Take those hands down and take it back, well done. Okay, back into a counter stretch, back into your child's pose, and then you've just got your plan to do, and you are finished. Woo! Okay, so, into plank, onto our elbows, so modifications on this one, is down onto the knees. You're gonna give me a 60 second plank, we're gonna break it into three different sections. So your first one, you can hold it here, or you can lift the knees. Okay, and hold it for 20, 90, now head is long, 80, palms are in together, 70, 60, like you're holding onto a trinket box, 50, 40, there's no sinking through those shoulders, 13, push up, 12, 11, breathe, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, now you can stay here, 4, or take a breath, 3, 2, 1, lift that left leg, just hold it there for me for 10, Nine, I'm shaking, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, get ready on the other leg, two, one, take it down, ten, nine, eight, modification is to take the knee down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you're going to push up onto those hands, just draw those shoulders back and down, hold on to those abdominals, hold it here and then just come over onto the tippy toes and just hold it for 20, 80, 70, 16, breathe, 50, come push up through those arms, 40, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, breathe, 6, 5, you can do it, 4, modification is down onto the knees, 3, 2, one, take it back into child's pose, and you are nearly finished. I did twist the truth there a little bit. You're just going to give me some mountain climbers, but slow Pilates mountain climbers. So I don't want any quickness because you are nicely warmed up now, and you're just going to control this one. So you're going to bring the knee in and out, and in and out, so nice and strong through the middle central line of the body, and out, you just got eight, and out, and seven, and out, six, five, four, I tell you what, let's finish strong, three, let's do another ten, two, and one, and ten, and nine, and eight, seven, six, five, you've got four, and three, and two, this is your last one, one, take it down, take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, take it down, into child's pose, and stretch it out, well done, take the head down onto the mat, turn the palms and face them up towards the ceiling, 
and relax those shoulders now. Well done. So you're feeling that nice relax through the spine. We're turning that body off. Stay there, just take a nice deep breath in for me. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And nice and slowly as we begin, we're just going to come up, take one foot and then the other. Push back into downward dog. Just letting that head, so give me a little nod, no, and then yes. Yes, and a no, I'm going the other way. Breathe in, bring them feet directly under the hips, and then just pedal those feet for me. Back as forward, just give me five, four, three, two, one. Bend those knees, walk those hands in towards those hips, stay here, relax the shoulders, relax the knees, come down. Turn those shoulders off, breathe in, breathe out, and just roll it up for five, four, three, two, one. Shoulders back and down. Now turn and face me into a plie position. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Well done, everybody. Listen, if you do this two to three times a week at home, you're going to be stronger and leaner. Take it the other way. And definitely core to die for. I like that one. Core to die for. Breathe in. And breathe out. Roll the shoulders back. Roll them forward and give yourselves a clap. Well done. Thank you for joining Susie's Pilates. Please like and subscribe this page and share it with your friends as well. Lots of love from South Africa. Bye.